journey to London, the great yellow west westland wasteland lay dim and milky in the moonlight as the big friendly giant went galloping across it. Sophie, still wearing only her nightie, was reclining comfortably in a crevice of the BFG's right ear. She was actually in the outer rim of the of the ear near the top, where the edge of the of the ear folds over, and this folding over bit a been made a sort of roof. For her and gave her wonderful protection against the rushing wind, rushing wind. What is more, she was lying on a skin, on skin that was soft and warm, and almost velvety. Nobody, she told herself, had ever traveled in greater comfort. <clears throat> Sophie peeped over the rim of the ear and watched the desolate landscape of giant country ghosts whizzing by. They were certainly moving fast. WFG went bouncing off the ground as though there were rockets in his toes. And each stride he took he took lifted, lifted him about a hundred feet into the air, but he had not yet gone into that whizzing top gear of his when the ground became blurred by speed and the wind hauled and his feet didn't seem to be touching anything but air. That would be that would come later. Sophie had not slept for a long time. She was very tired. She was also warm and comfortable. She dozed off. The she, she didn't know how long she slept. But when she woke up again and looked out over the edge of the ear, the landscape, the landscape had changed. Completely, they were in a green country now, with mountains and forests. It was still dark, but the moon was shining as brightly as ever. Suddenly, and watch out, slowing, slowing his pace, the BFG turned his head sharply to the left. For the first time during the entire journey, he spoke a few words. Look quick, quick over there, he said, pointing his long trumpet. Sophie looked in the direction he was pointing through the murky darkness. All she saw at first was a great cloud of dust about 300 yards away. Those is the other giants all galloping back home after their guzzle, the BFG said. Then Sophie saw them in the light of the moon. She saw all, the, all nine of those monstrous half naked brutes galloping in a bat, in a brutes thundering across the landscape together. There they were galloping in a pack. They're, their necks crane forward, their arms bent at the elbows, and worst of all, their stomaches bulging. The strides they took were incredible. Their, their speed was unbelievable. Their feet pounded and thundered on the ground and left a great sheet of dust behind them. But in ten seconds, but in ten seconds, they were gone. A lot of a lot of little girlsies and boysies is no longer sleeping in their beds tonight, the BFG said. But Sophie felt quite ill. But this grim encounter made her more than 
ever determined to go through with her mission. It must it must have been about an hour or so later that the BFG began to slow his pace. We is in England now, he suddenly he said suddenly.